Parkway Elementary Schools in St. Louis, Missouri are planning on tracking the physical activity and sleep patterns of their students. And the way that they're planning on doing this, they're going to wear these wristbands around the clock and then administrators at the school will basically be able to tell, you know, the intensity of the activity that they're doing throughout the day, how much sleep are they getting. Now, naturally, some of the parents are a little concerned about this. Uh, of course, the school has to get permission from the parents in order to do this whole wristband thing, right? Um, but a lot of the parents are saying that they know nothing about it. Like, they weren't informed about it, they don't know anything about it. Some parents know about it, which I assume is the case since they said some do. Mm -hmm. And some parents don't. I don't know, I don't want to be the bad guy. Look, but I don't even I'm care. I'm assuming some of these parents don't know anything that's going on with their kids in school. I, I don't even care if the, the parents know about it or not. I don't like, think it should be done. At all. Even, even if they ask the parents for permission ahead of time, I, I think that some parents will be naive enough to think that this is completely safe. I think right now it comes from a good place. But look, it's not the school's job. Tell me what's unsafe. What's uns it, look, it's not unsafe. I think it's a privacy concern, and I think that it's the school overreaching. Let the parents be parents and make their own decisions, right? At school, as an administrator or a teacher, okay, you have the responsibility to create a healthy atmosphere so the kids are eating right, they're physically active. That's your responsibility during school hours. After school hours, why do you need to monitor what the kids are doing? It's to see if, you know, they're doing all these that, I don't know, if this is like in, in conjunction with gym class, I, I would lo love to know what the whole circle is. Like your gym teacher says, okay, we're giving out these wristbands and your kids are doing this much work here for the hour, however long you have in gym. Mm -hmm. And then you go home and then pig out and sit on your ass and do nothing else and it totally counteracts. Maybe they're trying to teach a lifestyle of complete health and movement because mm -hmm. it, it transitions into adulthood. I just wonder what kind of monitoring they could have of kids. What, how far can it really extend if it kind of like takes their heart rate or something mm -hmm. constantly? I, I, if that's the extent of what it does. And what does the school do if they decide that the sleeping patterns of the kid is not healthy? Do they go knock on the door and tell the parents like, tut, 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 you well, gotta you do go something about these sleeping patterns. Oh, you're, it looks like your kid isn't physically active enough after school. Well, the parent-teacher conferences, you come and you go, oh, your kid is an asshole in my class. You go, maybe you should do something about that at home. But that's in his class. After hours, when you are no longer responsible for that kid, you can fuck off. But then it's sometimes none of your business. Sometimes there's things like, okay, your, your kid's coming to school kind of disheveled and seems like he's a little upset. Is everything okay at home? Like, this concerns. I'm not saying it's the exact same, but I'm mm -hmm. saying maybe it's along those lines as to teachers in schools always reach into the homes when, mm -hmm. they, when they think they need to. And maybe they think they need to because they have a, a school full of unhealthy kids.